Hi there, today I'm bringing you my BT-7 Soviet tanks for my bolt action Russian army. I've got six so far and I'm not really sure if I'm going to make it anymore because I think I've got enough. Um, added to my T-26s, this will make um, three tank platoons altogether, so that will be pretty much all I need for my Russians. The BT-7 was the pretty much the standard Soviet tank at the outbreak of the Second World War. It was a light tank and they worked in conjunction with the T-26 tanks, which were also light tanks. Uh, generally the T-26s would go in first with the BTs right behind them and the BTs would carry infantry into battle. Um, it was very handy having a wide back because it enables you to put a lot of infantry on the back of them and that's generally how the Russians, that's basically the general Russian tactic at the outbreak of the war. As I said, they were pretty much the standard Soviet tank in the Soviet tank armies. They were pretty fast, pretty manoeuvrable. Um, great advantage uh, to get them to the front line was you could take the tracks off, stick rod wheels on them and actually drive them like a normal Jeep or 4x4, four four, a truck. So that was really useful. Um, they were equipped with a 45mm anti-tank gun. Like, that, that was the standard anti-tank gun of the, of the Russian army. And practically all Russian tanks were fitted with the 45mm anti-tank gun. Which at the time could kill more or less any tank. In fact it could kill any tank held by any other army. They were equipped with a forward firing machine gun in the gun mantle uh, next to the main gun and it could also carry a anti-aircraft machine gun although seldom were these actually fitted usually they just had the front mounted machine gun and they would use the machine gun against infantry and the tank gun against ground troops which more or less covered the standard tank doctrine around about 1940-41 anyway the, T the BT-7 is probably one of my favourite tanks because it was so numerous and it, it's a nice looking tank. It just looks like it does the job. This is the main part of my tank force now. Um, my T-26s and BTs will be operating side by side as in true Russian fashion. great thing is about the BT, it was used on all fronts so you can keep using it right up until past the Battle of Moscow, although past, just past the Battle of Moscow the last of the BTs were mopped up. So not much use as a late war tank, but you can certainly use it for all of Russia's early battles. Uh, they saw a lot of service against the Japanese and they were used against the Finns to a slightly lesser extent. So you can pretty much use them everywhere and that's what I wanted in a tank. So. Um, that's showing you my BTs. Um, I hope you've. I hope the video has been slightly informative. Um, oh, um, it's, it is just a standard light tank. It's slightly bigger than the average light tank, um, but for the bolt action rules, it's just classed as a standard light tank with a light anti-tank gun. Bolt action is pretty generic. All the guns are pretty generic. It's either light, medium, heavy, or super gun. These particular tanks have technically a light gun. Although during the actual war they would have been considered as a medium gun because it was a lot better than most of the stuff other countries had. However for the bolt action rules it's just a standard light anti-tank gun. So I'll just mention that bit. Um, armour wise they were light tanks. They had hardly any armour on them at all. They look good but their armour was very minimal. An attempt to up-armor up them failed because it made them too slow. And oh, that's all, all I can say about the rules. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, this has been Vespasian. Please click like and leave any comments you want. I'm going to be putting more videos up of all my new tanks as I get them done. And some new airplanes I'm working on. And this is a growing Russian army, Russian army which you are going to see battle reports of pretty soon. So I hope you're looking forward to them too. So click like, leave a comment and subscribe because 
I like people who subscribe. You're nice if you subscribe. So that's been Vespasian. Thank you very much for watching.